Here is the audio commentary for what will it be like in the future? This is another a David Taylor's what will it be like in the future? Now this one was created on notebook paper. So you'll see the ruled notebook paper and the holes which sometimes become a problem. There's several, I have several books which I created on notebook paper. Whatever was at hand, that's what I, that's what I uh, used. This one's different in that um, uh, it opens backwards, sort of like a, um, what is it, anime? anime book or something. You know, uh, in Japan they read the, uh, the up opposite way. And I do not know other than I when I when it should be this way, but for some reason uh, I started drawing it this way, and I I can only say that it was a mistake. It wasn't on purpose, but you can tell this is an early one because here um, I'm using the extruded text. I don't know when I finally dropped that one. This is number 19, so it's early on. We're in here in Tiger Paul in 1977. So that's what will it be like in the future? And we've got to go backwards, so it's going to be a little harder to do. So let's see. All right, I start off, I, I believe, uh, when I'm saying it's a WWIBLITF book that um, I was going to make maybe a series of these and this was the first. So, of course, uh, we got some issues because of the, um, the holes. Uh, you can't really do anything down there. That's got to be a part of the um, show part through the, the title there. All right, here's um, Professor Eggsniff. I, his, he's not named here. He's just called Professor. And, and there's another book coming later called Wacky Inventions where I use the same character again. Now, it's not a WWIBLITF book. It is just another book. So there was never a series, even though this appears as what I maybe I had in mind when I was doing this. I don't know. All right, so here's the professor, typical professor with the beard, uh, working on his machine. This is very, very uh, similar to you know, most uh, simple stories you see on cartoons on Saturday morning. Professor calls up his buddy. Uh, uh, John, J H O N, yeah, yeah, not J O H N. So he calls him up, tells him he's got a new invention, comes over, shows him his time machine, and he asks him what time would he like, what date would he like to go back, go to up to into the future, and he says he wants to go to 1999. This is pre. Prince and the Revolution. So this was, so he didn't say 2000, he said 1999. So I was ahead of my time in thinking about 1999. Of course, we talked about it because then we would uh, talk about the future. But uh, there it is, 1999, way before Prince did the song. All right, so they get in the time machine and they're zapped into the future through a, a nice fantasy, uh, uh, very similar to of all uh, the time travel sequences you'll see in, in TV shows and movies. Poof, they land into the future. I really enjoy drawing these little uh, futuristic places. In fact, I, I've got a lot of little drawings I did at the time around this time where I drew like whole cityscapes of little round um, oval shaped buildings. 
So they meet the first guy in the city of the future here. And he takes them on a little tour, shows them his, his car, city hall, and they decide to go to the zoo. And they ride on the moving walkways. Those were really uh, new at the time in the 70s. So that was really as futuristic, I guess. And then for some reason, uh, um, a runaway robot comes after him. A, uh, a bent on uh, attacking them. And the guy from the future recognizes there's some this, this is bad and they must run. So... Uh, the professor has a, like a, a emergency button that uh, John can press to send them back to the present. And here they come back to the present. And um, he's so d the professor's so distraught he uh, destroys his um, time machine. So you're now down here, um, you'll see that uh, Wacky Inventions will be the next one kind of in the series. So the end. And that's what will it be like in the future. If you haven't watched the book that this commentary is about, you can click here. You can click here and watch another Cricut book in the series. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of the video or any questions you might have. Thanks.